Hello, everyone. Today we are going to learn about the ordinary differential equations with initial value problems. The lecture covers the introduction to differential equations, the Lunker-Gutta methods such as Euler methods, the Hewlin methods, and the fourth order Lunker-Gutta methods. And how to use MATLAB's ODE IVP solvers to solve engineering problems. First, let me give some introductions to differential equations. Differential equations are commonly used in engineering. The ordinary differential equations, or simply called ODEs, are the differential equations having one independent variable only. For example, here are two e differential equations. They only contain one independent variable x. So, these are called ordinary differential equations. Based on the given conditions, there are two types of ODEs. If initial value are given, for example here, for x from 0 to 1, given the dependent value at x equals 0, another example here, at both y1 and y2 are given at x equals 0. Okay. So we call these problems ODE with initial value problems. Another type is ordinary differential equations with boundary values problems. For example, given y at 0 and also given y at another boundary. So the function value are given at both boundaries. See this another example. Y1 at x equals 0, y2 at x equals 1. So this and this are called ordinary differential equation with boundary value programs. Simply called ODE ODE BVPs. Partial differential equations, also called PDEs, have two or more independent variables. For example, the heat conduction equations involve two independent variables, time and x location. Another case is the steady state temperature model is about the temperature on location x and y. Now let's focus on the ODEs with initial value programs. Here is the standard form of the ODEs with initial value program. The general form of the numerical solution is here y i plus 1 equal y i plus phi is the slope times h h is the step size phi is the slope so different numerical methods for solving the ODEs have different slope let's look at the oldest methods again this is the general form of the ODEs. We need to take a small step size h. This is the formula of the step size of ti plus 1 minus ti and equal to tn, the last point of independent variable minus t0, the first point, and then divided by the total number of points. 
the iteration formula of Euler method here, yi plus 1 equals yi plus function of ti yi times h. So here, f term is actually the first derivative here. We call this one step method because we only use yi to predict yi plus 1. There are some other methods, for example, two step methods that will use yi and yi minus 1 to predict yi plus 1. Use two values. Look at the chart on the right hand side. This is the physical description of the Euler methods. A0 is given. A0 corresponds to y at t equal t0. So at t0, so we know y0. And we have the step size h is also calculated. Then we calculate the slope, the slope at a0. The slope, for example here, the slope at a0, that will be f t0 y0. This is usually given the expression of function f t y is given in detail. So we have the slope. Then we calculate y1 for a1 point. So y1 given. And next we just repeating. Calculate y2 at a2 here. Using the data of a1. That is from y1 calculate y2. Using the, the new slope at a1. So you can see the prediction a0, a1, a2, etc. is the estimation curve. The smooth curve represents the real, the exact curve, the exact solution. How to derive the Euler methods? This is based on the Taylor series. All the methods can be derived by Taylor series expansion. So taking the Taylor series expansion of y equal fx at around xi, like here, y x plus xi plus 1, or y function of xi plus h. h is a small step. So the Taylor series expansion is here, y xi step times y prime plus 1 over factorial 2 times square h times y prime prime. So the end term, and the last term we call the, the remainder the remainder term. Then we simply substituting the differential equation into here to replacing the derivative term or the derivative term. Then we get this. Okay. For Euler method, we, we know the formulas of Euler method here y i plus 1, y x i plus f times h. Then we subtract the Euler formula from the Taylor series expansion formula. Then we get the local truncation error. This minus this then we can cancel this term and then cancel this term. And for the Euler method, we, we just keep 
the second order that is so this is the difference then the global truncation error GTE that is equal to n times local truncation error because we have total number of points for each point of uh, estimation there is a, a local truncation error so for the total point we have the the global and then n equal this based on the step size definition times the so we cancel one of h then we get the total truncation error o means proportional to here h so at the level of a uh, h this we call the first order accuracy here is one example how to use OLA methods to solve this equation so we given the initial value here y at x equal 0 equal 2 formula of OLA method here slope f actually represent the right hand side of the ODE that is here right starting point here from the starting point i equal 0 that is t yellow equal 0 y yellow equal 2 step sign we assume here h equal 1 then next we can use y yellow to estimate y1 okay so i equal 1 then t1 equal t0 plus h the general form is ti plus 1 equal ti plus h so t0 here plus 1 equal 1 and y1 equal from the iteration formula y1 equal y0 plus function of t0 y0 and times h just plugging into the data y0 2 function of this that is function of 0 2 times 1 just plug into the equation 2 plus okay t 0 t 0 here and y maybe y 0 y 0 2 plug into then we get 5 for y 1 and next we calculate y2 using y1 that is i2 here t2 equal t1 plus h t1 from previous step equal 1 h step 1 so we get 2 for t2 then y2 using the formula y2 equal y1 plus function of t1 y1 times h so then plugging into the data y1 here from previous step and then function of 1 5 times 1 so plug into t equal t1 equal 1 y1 equal 5 then we get the number for the y2 here are the difference between the true value and the y value of Ola methods you can see the difference this is percentages of difference the errors are very large right between the true value and the Ola methods value and look at the chart quite different this is because the Euler methods only has one order 
accuracy. And also the step in this example is one is very large. 